Most of the time, the phrase, you get what you pay for, rings true. If you buy an expensive vehicle, you expect it to live longer and perform better than a cheaper one. But how do you value an item that only ever lives in the form of pixels on your screen? Today we'll be showing you some of the world's most expensive virtual purchases. Ranging from rare weapons to online worlds and lesser spotted accessories that bring these online players to the top of their respective games. Make sure to stick around until the end to hear about the online world that sold for six million dollars. Before we dive into it, do you like videos full of interesting facts? Check out our friends over at Brainiac who are serving up freshly squeezed brain juice every week. Entropia Universe. This game is a multiplayer online virtual universe focusing around different planets. And while it's primarily a virtual game, there's the opportunity for real money to get involved too. Back in 2005, John Never Died Jacobs decided to spend $100,000 on the purchase of a virtual hangout spot called Club Never Die. An Entropia Universe fan site reported in 2010 that the remaining portions of Club Never Die were then sold to a gamer named John Foma Kalen in a transaction valued at $335,000. One of the landmark businesses in online game Second Life Amsterdam is modeled on the city's red light district and specializes in content for an adult audience. The virtual version of Amsterdam is a detailed reproduction of several streets in the real world city. It also contains a lot of the other elements that Amsterdam has become notorious for. You might begin to realize that there's a high cost associating with buying this private albeit virtual land. And the cost of such a place? $50,000. Dota, short for Defense of the Agents, is a multiplayer online battle arena video game. There are millions of players battling it out to become the best of the best on this online universe. And one of the ways to reach the top is by gaining the best set of skills and equipment. One of these highly acclaimed pieces is the Ethereal Pink War Dog Courier. Only four others are known to exist across the entire Dota world. And how much does a dog of this variety cost? That'll be a huge $38,000. There's an automatic level of respect for any soldier playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive who owns a variation of the Karambit Crimson Web Knife. The Karambit is an ever popular skin, and the Crimson Web design just makes it that much cooler. Not only is this knife crimson, a color showing power and statute in the game, but it's also incredibly rare. There's only a very limited number of these knives in the game, so they garner a lot of attention whenever they're sold. The most recent figures for someone wanting to buy one of these knives start at around $2,000, but they can go up to around $40,000. The Blue Party Hat was a hat released in online game RuneScape back in 2001. It could be obtained by opening Christmas crackers that dropped during the Christmas event almost 20 years ago. The hat was never re-released and finding one has become a sort of challenge for RuneScape players over the years. Before the removal of trade limits on February 1st, 2011, the item was traded for around 2.1 billion in-game coins which translates to around $4,500. It might be seemingly useless, but that led to it ultimately becoming rare and very valuable. 
Eve is one of the longest running MMO games on the market, where players buy, pilot, and fight with starships in a massive online world, marked by large scale conflicts between groups of players. As with a lot of virtual games, there's a chance for real money to exchange hands, although not quite on the same scale as some of the others we've told you about today. But anyway, back to the player who lost his spaceship. The ship in question was called a Revenant Supercarrier, which is one of the rarest ships in the game and, up until recently, had never been destroyed. But it took just one battle for this player to wave goodbye to the $9,000 that he paid. Zuzo was the owner of one account on World of Warcraft, who reportedly sold his famed account for 7,000 euros, or $9,500 US. Zuzo's gear included the legendary sword set Twin Blades of Azanoth, 4 fifths tier 6, and many other Hyjal slash BT loots. So, the new owner basically had a massive leg up to competing with the best, all thanks to a rather large chunk of change in his pocket. Zuzo was one of the best geared rogues in the world, which might also be a contributing factor as to why his account sold for so much. Diablo 3, the next game we're going to tell you about, is different to many others in the sense that it had a marketplace attached where players could put up items for sale and receive real world currency in exchange. The marketplace no longer exists, but when it was available some players chose to take advantage. And some made thousands of dollars each month. It's certainly a dedication to the game, and there was a serious amount of money that could be made. One item known as the Echoing Fury Mace, came complete with maxed out stats and sold online for $14,000. What's the most you've ever paid for an MMO microtransaction? If you said $16,000, you might just be the guy we're about to talk about. This time, we're talking about a virtual martial arts game, Age of Wulin, a popular game in mainland China. To mark the launch of the new title, Snail Games, the software developers, held an online auction in which its users could bid for exclusive items. And don't think these developers were planning on taking all of their users for a ride. Some of the cheapest options went for around $15, but obviously the more prestigious items came at a higher cost. And one such item, a one-of-a-kind sword, came with a price tag of $16,000. Let's jump back to another excessive Counter-Strike Global Offensive purchase, which set one user back $30,000. This game started out lacking in popularity, until the developers introduced decorative weapons, referred to as skins, with this arms deal update in 2013. These skins quickly became popular for players who wanted to differentiate their teams with these cool accessories. One of the most popular was known as the Stat Track Bayonet Crimson Web, which one player spent $50,000 on. It's painted with a spider web pattern hydrographic over the red base coat and was the perfect addition for any player with too many notes in his pocket. The sci-fi themed planet Calypso operates under the umbrella of Entropia Universe and boasts more than 950,000 registered accounts since coming online in 2003. And that huge number was enough for a company called C Virtual Worlds to want to snap up planet Calypso for millions of dollars. Admittedly, C Virtual Worlds got more than just Planet Calypso when it decided to splash out. It also acquired all of the assets of First Planet Company, including Planet Michael and Universal Monsters. Planet Calypso is the first and largest planet in Entropia Universe, 
and offers a unique sci-fi themed virtual world MMO with a real money economy. Just think of the possibilities. Once you've gotten over the huge amount of money being played with here. Did you like this video? Our friends at Brainiac present all the amazing facts that you wished you learned in school. From how to's to survival tips for every situation imaginable. That's all for the 11 most expensive virtual items bought by the richest. What's the most you'd ever spend on a virtual item? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the richest, and join our notification squad. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.